to the city of Brookside. They have been stopping residents and citizens for a period of time, harassing them, giving exorbitant numbers, uh, numbers in their fees, fee structure in the city of Brookside. And it's just been a complete derelict of duty as well as racial profiling, not just racial profiling, but harassment of women that have traveled that route for their safety to get to again, to and fro home. I am calling on Steve Marshall as attorney general to investigate this matter. Many outlets have already sent a request to him to take a greater role in this issue. This is a very serious matter. He is the top law enforcement agent in the state of Alabama. I'm also today calling on the mayor, Mayor Ryan, to res resign his position as mayor of the city of Brookside. Why am I doing this? This issue has come to light. It is a very critical issue. This mayor has not one time himself verbally with his mouth spoke to the general public spoke to you as members of the media and spoke mostly most importantly to the citizenry of the city of brookside this issue does not just impact brookside this issue impacts the citizens in all of these areas that i've mentioned and most importantly the citizens also that live in forestdale who have been tortured and harassed over and over and over again by the police and the police chief of the city of Brookside, especially in light of what this country has gone through the past in the course of two years, dealing with police uh, brutality, police murder, police involved incidents, as well as the killing of George Floyd and others at the hand of law enforcement. The mayor has failed to fall and he has fallen below a standard of duty and care that is old. Mark Parnell is not the city mayor. Mark Parnell should not be the mouthpiece for the city. Mark Parnell is under contract to serve as a prosecutor. He should also step down because he has been the prosecutor who has been involved with prosecuting many of these, in many instances, innocent, innocent citizens that travel this corridor that I'm speaking of, as well as the judge, the municipal court judge, who also owed a duty. We as lawyers, regardless if he's a judge, he's also a lawyer. Judge Wooten, Jim Wooten should step down because he has aided and abetted in this miscarriage of justice. I'm also asking, asking the State Bar Association to take a look at that, at these issues. We have a division with the State Bar for professional responsibility. And I wanna make sure that neither of these men have fallen below such a standard that they have violated the rights of the citizens who depend and believe in their leadership.